Right now, it's time to go home. Right, right, Chris? Okay, I think I'm done with chapter one. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. That music, was that from Undertale? Hold on. What? What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! What was that squeaky noise? Is that a... Is that annoying dog? Huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get here? Hey, Chris. What? So I'm noticing there's a lot of cards on the floor. Are they trying to imply that that was all like an alternate reality with all these like toys in this unused classroom? Is that what that's all about? What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. Do I have to move? I do. Okay. It's a light switch. Playing cards spilled out of the deck in the, the closet. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. It's a worn down stuffed animal. What's in this door? The door is locked. Is that what they're saying here? That this was all like... It's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Alvin! Alvin! <laughs> um, what was on this wall here? I don't know. Let's walk it. So that was in the... That's not the closet. Man, the sun's already set. Everyone else must have gone home by now. I guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? What about the closet? You gonna open it again? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Going back in the closet? Okay. Okay, I get to move now. Let's explore around a little bit for anything. The door's locked. What about the closet door? The door is locked. Okay. And we can't go back in the classroom. Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, yeah, wait. What's this? Did I never see that puzzle on the floor? Okay, the light switch. Okay, no. But yeah, that classroom connects to the closet. I'm gonna, I wonder what's going on here. Let's drink some more water. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Yeah, we can explore around the school a little more. So let's do that. Lock, lockers. Locker. It's locked. This used to be my brother. I have a brother? <laughs> it's your locker. 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 Is that like... Is my brother supposed to be Asriel? I don't know. What's in here? What class is this? Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the... Oh! It's Toriel's class. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. So she's wrote it up there the first day and left it. It's a computer. It's desktop wallpaper. Is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago? My brother must be Asriel. I think that's what they're saying. Some kind of teacher food in the apple. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of my mom. The 
The throne of the gods. Oh my gosh. All the stacked up chairs. I remember people used to love sitting on those. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Like a castle? It's okay. Yeah, I want to explore around the school a bit. What about this? Do you like breathing? Moving fast? With or without legs? But usually with legs? Join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. Okay, yeah, I guess that's all it says. Let's try to head back to class, too. What does this say? Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? I already read this before. What about these lockers? The lockers cover. Oh, that's Jockington. Okay. The locker's locker is locked. The locker's lock's locker is locked. Okay, can't check those. What about the classroom? Yeah, nobody's here. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf. Even in the darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. What the desk? Anything new here? Computer's turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Yeah, nothing at the desk. I guess let's just leave the school then. Interesting. Let's walk out. Ring, ring. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. I had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Oh yeah, one thing I never checked. What about my inventory? Oh yeah, look, none of my stuff is there. I just have a ball of junk. Ball of junk, a small ball of accumulated things. It smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stick. So is that ball of junk supposed to be everything I had in the other world? Glass. There's a small sh shard of something. Oh, is that the the, the 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 thing that I got from the Jevil? That is that what the glass is? Feels like glass, but but what? Let me see if I can use it. Looked at the ball of junk in admiration. Nothing happened. What if I look at the glass? Look back through the glass. For some brief moment. For some strange reason. For just a brief moment. You thought you saw through your hand. I did. <laughs> yeah, nothing happens a second time. Interesting. Then call home. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I'm not giving you a ride home. Our house is not far. It's just at, it's just at the top of town. Try walking. It builds character, honey. Look. What if I call her again? Chris, I am grading papers. I can talk to you when you get back, alright? Our house is only at the top of town, you know. Click. Yeah, let's call again. Oh, no, same thing. Okay. Alright, let's leave the school, then. Yeah, the school has the Deltarune logo. So... Okay, there's a fence. I'm just gonna try to explore around the town a little bit, then. The live Barbies here. Live Barbie. Can I go in? I can. Oh my god, it's, it's Temi in there here. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 2, days overdue. However, Chris, I'm not benevolent. I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine too. A mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Keen's own. It was Keen's own. There's an anime review. Read it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Teens Corner. Monthly review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. Oh my gosh. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. The darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Is it supposed to be calling out Undertale and Deltarune? Instead of like an animal that will die if it goes up 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Yeah, Anonymous Yellow Lizard. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our projects. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Let's go up, Temi. Gago Kuyeg! So Temi shall be hard! 
He's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Okay, she said the same thing. You look through the lab. You look through the window of the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. So if y'all don't know, the dog is probably annoying dog because the annoying dog is Toby Fox's self insert into the game. So seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Yeah, but see that? See, he's talking to us. He's like, you can come in here when the. Oh wait, I didn't read what it said. Look to the window to the computer lab. Now the dog is just playing the maracas. It's not doing any work. This might take a while. Oh, I can't go upstairs. That's the joke. I, I love reading books, especially the books. I can't go upstairs, so that's the joke. Okay. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boone. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hots, Hots Fire Guy. Hey! There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by fl flavor text. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh... I actually returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, I'm putting it on their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. My gosh. Alright, let's keep exploring. Hey look, it's Undyne. Let's talk to her. Hey punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Yeah, Asgore's kid, see? Yep. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Also, I, the music. It, it's like... I can hear the, that lame motif from Undertale songs. Yeah. What about Alphys? Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking... Oh. Why? Did they do something illegal? Gotcha! If I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. Phew, <laughs> they're as good as dead. So this Undyne doesn't know Alphys. Interesting. Uh, let's talk about the dark world. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyways. That's a job for the school board. What if I help her? Oh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do you even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Oh yeah, it's this guy. The guy with... Wait, is that the same sprite from when he's holding the hot dog? They just put him in a car? Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. In his car? Whose car is this? Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. All she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, GET OUT OF MY WAY! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. So there's a police station... What is this? Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, NYAH! Gosh. Let's go in the hospital. Who's here? Oh my god, it's, it's you. One of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside naturally spawns inside doctor's office. The beads march grimly along their Seth path. Oh, it's you. Are you here to pay, play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. I can play piano? It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Sure. Blink! That's all I could do. Can I play it again? Oh, it's playing it's played a slightly different note. I think that was the same note, actually. Let me play it one more time. Yeah, it's the same note. Okay. Hmm, you usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? You do seem a little sick. Can I go back here? I can. What? The castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. My blood is boiling for battle. What is that? The regular sink. <laughs> it's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create them both. That's another reference. Back to Undertale. You look inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. A very small piano. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Ice E. Ice E. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. Gosh. What is this? It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> Dad, I... I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I die. I literally die. No way else we are. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. Oh man. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. 
Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kinda... You know, waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well... Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. D dad You should bring it here! I'm bored as hell! Ha <laughs> ha Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Our guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It's, uh, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Hello. Oh, hi, Chris. What's up? Oh, so you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris. Be a little friendlier. So get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know... You know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? It's a chair. <laughs> it's, just, it's a chair. Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forgot my name or something? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Chris Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's talk a little bit. Let's talk about Noelle. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? I got you. Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Let's talk about illness. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Okay, yeah, same thing. Family. Chris, even if we're still grown apart, you still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, he was college pals with Asgore. Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college. You think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Heh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand. Ooh! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started... Yikes, man. Once she hit me, <laughs> once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. Got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Gosh. I already talked about everything, so... And what the hell are you, you here for, Chris? You thought this was the zoo or something? Come on. What about the sink? It's a sink. Is that sink really more interesting than me? Alright, let's get out of here. So, okay. There was also the police station. Let's see what's in here. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Seems like the police aren't fe really feeling it right now. That's a re isn't that a reference to? I think it is. It, wait, wait, is the police officer naps the bloke? I just thought about it because it says he's not really feeling it. I bet you the, the other police officer naps the bloke. I I have a feeling. Let's go down. There's a lot to explore here. This might take me <laughs> longer than I thought it would. Town hall. A bunch of people. Hey, short stuff. Would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too many candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can't get back there. Okay. Let's talk to her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Oh, gosh. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she worked hard and has a great, good track re record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. They said it's a sh who? I'm trying to think. It's definitely an Undertale character. I can't think of who, though. I have to think about it. It's a painting of the town. Okay. It's a plant. It's a small pine tree. It's a chair. Maybe it's in a politics. 
Not only does she act icy, she always keeps her office AC on full blast. A chill I feel. Is is this what politics feels like? What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. You need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you here to complain about your teacher? If you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting your eye. Then yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh look, the chapel. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice? Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Sick fruit? <laughs> yeah, I want some of that sick fruit juice. Our choir, our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it'd be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participated to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Oh, that fruit juice is fire. So we can go down here or to the left. I'm gonna go left first. There's a lot to explore here. Is this, this is a cemetery? She, shy, oh, the Shira. The Shira. A karaoke microphone for a brave singer. That's just a microphone, okay. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Crystal, a snow gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian. Oh, Gerson. Shout out to Gerson. And also, you see the shape of them? So this one is a snow drake. This one is uh, is Shiren, I'm pretty sure, yeah. This one's actually just Gerson. And then this one, it says a... I think it's supposed to be the... The, the greater dog, yeah, yeah. It's on this bench over here. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're writing. Same thing? Okay, yeah. Alright, cool. So now... Let's head down here. Oh, why is it quiet? What's down here? Long walk to a door. Interesting. It's locked. We'll keep this in mind for later. Interesting. There's just some door here. There's gotta be some sort of secret there. But for now, we'll head up. We'll go home. <laughs> Let's go. So let's head up. Wait, there was nothing more by the right of Town Hall, right? Can I go around? No, okay. Yeah, we're gonna head up towards the house now. Okay, we came from this way. There's a library. Alright, let's go up. There's a... There's QC's Diner. Oh my god, IC's Pizza. Oh, that's where they got the word search from. There's a lot of stuff over here. Let's talk to these guys. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, IC's Pizza. Your number one... A spot for eating for a piping hot peas of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Oh my god. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Oh my god, it's him. It, it's um it's burger pan. <laughs> but now he's pizza pan. Do you know when as he's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. Be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. <laughs> His face. Which, as a matter of course, may not ever have ever actually happened. Before one time Undyne made eye contact with me. Or she was writing me a speeding ticket. My gosh. Co-workers. Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serve obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully, absent due to pizza-related injury injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy. The purple guy? Man, that guy. You gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, oh, my co-workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Hey, what's up? Let's talk about his job. <laughs> I just realized one of the options didn't know. Make no mistake, little buddy. Ice E's pizza is he e l. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player. There's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up. I go to college where Azzy is. And I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor. And let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. 
Alright, what if I just say no? It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the sprite with it with the blue body is hilarious. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza players? Flavors. We've got normal, che cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepper, pepperonis, pepperonis, <laughs> pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Ice E's Pizza. Pizza. Ice me up, ice me up. Is it Barney? Gosh. Ice E's Pizza. Oh, I yeah, already saw that. Here at Ice E's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Oh, gosh. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all of the employees are outside in costume. Okay, but now we know where they got the thing from. Let's go to the diner. Yo, it's basically grill bees. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. This is this uniform's mandatory. Okay, yeah. Let's talk to them. Uh, we'll have the special. And do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. In a pinch, sprinkles will work, too. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? I like the vibe of the waitress, waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up, too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire element. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. It's like young Groby. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those crepes were mad worth, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Oh, it's Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Ice Wolf also likes ice-themed mascots. What is this? Looking at, looking at my rugged body, you must have wondered what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Ooh, I sure love pancake! Hey there, I haven't seen you in a little while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brothers still come in. We'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got hot chocolate on the house, hun. So is that where you used to sit? Right there in that corner? I'm assuming. Don't be a stranger now, alright, hun? So let's see. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate topped with homemade marshmallows in the shape of bunnies. Can we, like, use it? Can I drink it? You drank the hot chocolate. Tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Should I have not drunk it? I feel like I should have kept it. Oh, well. I drank it. <laughs> I should have brought it home to show Tori. Well, I don't know if she... Sans is? <laughs> Why is Sans just here? It's like, I, you notice how he scribbled out everything else? It's just apostrophe Sans. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Oh, who the hell are you? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Store. Find me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to compliment the guy who runs it. I like how, why is Sans just here though? Like, the interesting thing is Sans isn't any different. Like, he looks exactly the same. But no, but we know how Sans is, how Sans was in Undertale. This might very well be the exact same Sans. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Me. Oh there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into the friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call him whenever you feel like. I got his number. We can call, what if I call him right now? Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. Oh, I actually tried to hit numbers. Oh my god. 3. Oh, you're an idiot baby? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Click. What's up? friend. We just moved here. Why? Oh, we. So, I, I guess Papyrus is here, too. Uh, my teacher. Alphys? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Though she was, thought she was part of the mob. 
She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Made in small bills. It slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, uh, purely business. So, uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. You see, I wonder if Sans must know if this is like some alternate reality stuff going on. What's up? We just, yeah, so Papyrus must be here too. Let's talk. Uh, yeah, you should get me to know my mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already best. Whoa! I, what? I already befriended your mom last night. What? She's great. Even the store to buy chocolate kisses. Why did, did Sans just make your mom a joke? Bro. He really said, my mom. No. <laughs> anyway. She said, she said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you should sound like a fun kid, huh? He really made a, a yo mama joke. He befriended my mom last night. Look at that. He really said, I befriended your mom last night. Bro, he knew what he was saying. Alright, what if I just say nobody? Harsh, but fair. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate before. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He, he needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Talk to him again. What's up? Okay. Oh, we've got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. Is this their exact house from Undertale? Hold on. That's what this looks like. No response. But the distant trozzle of bones! We heard some bone trozzling. That was an apartment complex. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Ah, oh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Huh, that, okay, I saved me. How do I train my nut? Is that Monster Kid? Yo, Chris, you have survived the Susie, haha! <laughs> I mean, I have never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I had to be careful. Like a one time, me, Snowy, and Jockey Tim were playing a handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then, Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> nah, you gotta just get to know her better. Snow Drake. Ooh, you're lucky, Chris. You gotta miss class with Alf with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skip class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. <laughs> oh, Snowy, what'd I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. You don't have arms, you know. Gosh. What about these? Can I talk, interact with these? No. Right, let's run up here. Uh. <laughs> it's a dirty trash can. Hello, Alphys? Uh, oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when he didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. <laughs> well, let me know if you need anything. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Wait, what about this one? Dirty trash can. They're both dirty. What is this? It's a saucer of milk? Why is she... Oh, what is she doing? Uh oh, Chris. D did you want to talk about something? The saucer. Oh, the saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Uh, well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. M my cat. Oh, great. Oh my gosh. What about chalk? C Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. Symptons. The Symptons. Like Simpsons. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. I think that's literally how many seasons are in the Simpsons. 
It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season, since they just rebooted it as Simpson Servo, and they all started driving their own motor vehicles and fighting giant and giggle demons and stuff. And main main problem is about that is they kind of lost focus on family that I had earlier when their vehicles were shaped like animals, and they were friends with the animal vehicles too. And let's not get into the Simpsons, the, the Galaxy Force, where the Simpsons is ever another Earth. Oh, on the other side of the world, and wouldn't that gravitational field just? Huh? You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Grizz. All right, let's talk about these flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that... He always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he... If he likes... If he if he likes... The awesome comics I lent him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge, he could kick my ass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, um, if you ever need help with your homework... My office hours are in this disgusting alley. <laughs> um, tell your mom I said hi. Alright, see you later, office. So can I knock any stronger yet? Nope. Alright, I guess we're just gonna head back home now. What about these flowers? Clothes. So this is a grocery store, and Sans crossed it out and wrote Sans. Like, you notice it was something... Oh, was it? Wait, was this... Gr I just realized this is Grillby's, isn't it? And Sans just put Sans on it. But, I mean, that's kind of... Like, the amount that's erased, though, is too long for Grillbees, though. But still. Maybe it's not Grillbees. I, I don't remember what Grillbees looks like now I'm thinking about it, but... It could be. Yeah, like, Sans didn't finish crossing off the apostrophe. I think we can just hear Papyrus in here. But, anyways. Let's go ahead and, I guess, just head up to our house. Because, yeah, we explored this. Yeah, we went in here. Let's head back up. There's a bunch of people here. I kind of want to explore. Is this Nap Naps to Bluke's house? Okay. Hold on. Let's go all the way to the right and then make our way to the left. Got it to them. So we're going to go right and then head left. Like, Yeah, we can't do anything with that. Okay. It's a metal picnic table. The cigarette butt lays on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes in the table. Sure. Fingers didn't fit the top anymore. You tried from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. I got cobwebs on my hand now. Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. <laughs> it is true. Alright, let's head to the right then. Whose car is this? It's your dad's truck. Flower, the floor of the f on the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Oh, Flower King. So is this Asgore in here? Oh, it's Asgore. What's up, Dad? Dum-dee-dum. -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these... The callbacks. Oh, my God. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh, Chris. <laughs> Big Dad hug. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't... I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Oh no, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Let's, I just want to look around. Is this flowy? It's a flower. Mm. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Bunch of flowers. Talk to Dad again. Hey, Chris, I was thinking, why do you have shoes on? Perhaps when Asriel comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... Okay, that's all he says. What about... What's over here? See, this is a... The the amount of callbacks is insane. Like, all these different... These multicolored flowers. It's a purple flower. Protected in a container. A yeah, purple... Cyan flower. Protected in a container. A blue flower. Why are there two yellow ones? A, oh, this one's golden. That's why. The yellow flower. There's no red flower. Notice that. It's an orange flower and a green flower. Can I talk to the green one? Green flower. Yep. What's Dad got to say? Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king size. First, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. 
A small TV on top are some superhero comics. Oh, the ones that Alphas gave him. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Let's look at the photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. Oh, the dude in the hospital. The, the, the holiday. They all look happy. Is there more photos? No, it's just that one. Bouquet of seven flowers. That way there's in All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. Right click don't. You decide not to look. What's in here? There's some there's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a door. It's locked. A locked door. Interesting. It's a dirty watering can. Various bags of soil. It's a note. It says, no rent received again. Stop giving away flowers. Stop sell Start selling them. You have one month. C... Who is C? Hold on. Interesting. So he's about to get evicted. Who is C? I feel, I feel like that's a name I should know. But I don't know who it is. Interesting though. So he's about to get evicted. What if I walk through this way? And he's on that side. Okay. If I talk to him. He says the same thing. So Asgore's in here. Alright, let's dip them. See ya, Dad. Oh. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother. Our secret. A bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. See you later, father. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance... Wait, is this Metaton, actually? Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Uh, you just wanted to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. I'm telling you that... I think this is Metaton in here, actually. Just like him, like the person saying like beautiful and stuff, yeah. Chrissy, like not long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Um, uh, go away. <laughs> Neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, your whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for like your whole body. Alright, memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then you, like, amazingly, you actually got them. That isn't, if I think that's also a callback to Undertale. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. And then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I, then I like, suddenly got so sick, I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Oh my gosh. Go away. Aw, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm just joking, but like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like, made him give me his first kiss. And your mom found out he kissed someone and, like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear, your, mam your family went to church, like, every single day that week. Nothing. Aw, oh, you just wanted to say hi? That's adorable, now get out of here. Some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. What is that? Look, this is the cat family. Hey, neighbor baber. When's your brother Doug gonna come by, huh? 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 My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Huh? 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 He's calling us by the wrong name. Is he missing an arm? Poor cat. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Hello, Chrissy. What's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. Asriel. Oh my god, Asriel, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch ball all over him, and he danced inappropriately in front of your mom, and, oh, and danced inappropriately in front of your mom, and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene, <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Uh, sister. Oh, how's Caddy, Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked her if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute! I love my fricked up little sis. Alright. Neighbors. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's, like, my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters too, 
and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino, and she was like already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copy gator, copy saurus, copadile. I don't. I, I don't care. She sucks. I got it's a cat doormat. Oh, Chris, like if you want to come in, our cat flap is like always open to you. Okay, I can't. Oh, we have to go through the cat door. That's what she was saying. Oh look. Oh hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again. And sorry, Chris. I'll help you later if that's okay. See, let's go, Chris. Uh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Uh, Susie. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I, I think? Um, Chris, can I ask something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? To <laughs> eat chalk, terrible. She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? R really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. <laughs> Let's talk about the key. Huh? Why don't I have... Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I... I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. No worry, okay? I'll just go over to the caddies. Talk about anything. Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Nothing. Tell Azzy I said hi, Chris. So everyone knows Azriel is popular. And this is my house, okay, so... Yeah, I feel like... I'm pretty sure we explored everything. Because, yeah, we talked to everyone, explored everything. Let's look at the car. It's your mom's van. That's all she has to say? Okay. Let's go inside, then. Wait, what if I try to call... Not Sans' number again. The phone kept ringing infinitely. What if I try to call my mom? Chris, I'm great. Okay, same thing. Alright, let's go home then. Welcome home, honey. The, su the music. Oh my gosh. Did you have fun with your friend? Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished making a pie. If you go, if you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? I thought you were grinding papers. Doesn't seem to be fun. Chris, what is it, honey? Me. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon, you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when, you, when your horns were going to grow in. So you bought that headband with the little red horns on it? Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Asriel. Remember that video game you and Asriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. The green lizard? King K. Rool? Is that... You mean King K. Rool? We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all the- Oh, no, Yoshi, I think. All these- those- all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Till the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since he hated that book about eating green- green eggs. Chris, what is it, honey? Talk about flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. So yeah, so him. So it seems like Azriel and and As are not Azriel. Toriel and Asgore are still like divorced in this universe. Perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite yourself. It's a trash can. So yeah, here's the pie. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Okay, all, this all seems the same. Let's go upstairs. It's only you. What about in here? That's my bed. What about this room? The door is locked. It's a locked room again. Okay. 
There are many books. Tales of Snail. Yeah, we saw this before. Alright, let's see. What what about the bathroom again? What if I start flushing it again? What if I flush it three times? I'm gonna flush it three times, see if Oriel says something. Chris, is everything alright in there? Is it is it gonna be the same lines? Might be the same lines. Oh yeah, it's, it's the same lines, okay. So I guess all that's left to do now is go to bed. So yeah, let's do that. The computer desk, there are many books under it. For, yeah, we already saw this. All right, I guess, yeah, all that we can do now is head to bed. Oh, genre. I'm trying to see if I can turn off the lamp. All right, well, I guess all that's left to do is go to bed. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Okay, so I think this is it. This is the end of chapter one, is what they're saying. So I feel like I've done everything that there is to do. I walked around the whole town. And uh, yeah, so let's hit yes and end off chapter one. Decided to go to bed. Why am I wrestling around like that? Whoa! I flung on my bed? Um... Cr Chris? Um... I'm not doing this, by the way. He's walking by himself. My hands are off the keyboard. What is he? What? Huh? What? Ex excuse me? Why did he just pull out his own soul like that? And put it in a cage? Chris? No way. That Kara? Why did it say Delta Rune? When the light is torn out. There's actual music here. I might have to mute this. I gotta look up if this is copyright. But, uh, wow. There's actual credits music here. Okay, what? What What was that ending? Can we can we talk about how he just ripped out his soul? Why did he do that? And then pulled out the knife. He's looking like Kara. What does this mean? I'm so confused. I'm with you in the dark. Is that, is that car? That's they're speaking to us. It's just like, it's just like Doki Doki's ending th song, the credit song, to be continued. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna wait it out a second, and then we'll end off the video. Okay, yep. That's the end of Delta Room Chapter One. So, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And make sure you share it around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your whoever you want to share it to. That was cool. that was a wild ride. And that was just chapter one, which uh, I've heard chapter one was relatively short. I know chapter two was going to be longer, so there's going to be more episodes of that. And then we don't know when the rest of it's coming out yet. But uh, hopefully by the time you're seeing this, it'll be before those come out because then... Yeah, then we'll have all this done and we'll be all caught up by the time the rest of it comes out. And then that, the rest of it, though, we have to buy. So we will buy it, though. I'm going to play it because I'm...
on Undertale. I was super into Undertale, and I'm here for Deltarune. But yeah, thank you for watching, though. Hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into Chapter 2. So, see you guys then.